What's going on my friends? Happy Saturday, Vitaly Dubin is here. Welcome back to another episode of today's in crypto show, guys. It is an absolutely green bullish Saturday today. Looking at the prices, I hope that you are in crypto. Time in the market is more important than time in the market, right? So we are seeing absolutely big green day today. The market of crypto is now over $1 trillion. Bitcoin surged 8.5% just today. I don't remember when was the last time we were that bullish. It was quite a long time ago. Looking at the altcoins, we are seeing a sea of green today. Uh, Aptos up 53%, Phantom 15%, uh, and Optimism 32%. If you are in crypto, if you are excited, let me know in the comments below what is your favorite crypto that you are holding uh, right now for this bull market. So in this video, guys, I want to take an honest look at what is happening right now for Bitcoin, as this is the granddaddy, of course, of crypto. What is happening with Bitcoin is affecting the entire market. If Bitcoin goes up, cryptos, altcoins are exploding. If Bitcoin plunges, crypto altcoins are diving for the most part. So we had an incredible bullish day. Essentially, we can see that we plowed through to the upside, plowed through the resistances. And right now we are actually facing the biggest resistance line, trend line since 2000, November 2021. So this trend line over here, you can see we have not broken yet. So it's going to be very important to see if Bitcoin breaks it. But there is big chance that we are not going to be able to break it just like that from the first attempt. And uh, one reason for that is because we already on a daily very overextended. We are in overbought territory right now on the daily chart. So we might see some cool off uh, just because of this fact on the daily. We've seen it over and over again when Bitcoin is in overbought territory here, it can plunge down uh, quickly. So, but looking at uh, our bull flag right here that we have uh, been going on with, just one second, where it is. Yeah, uh, our uh, bull flag over here. We first broke it to the downside over here. This is an hourly chart <coughs> and I give you a warning about this area. We came back, retested this line. We got rejected one, once again. But then what happened is uh, there was no momentum here to the downside. Looking at this on Friday morning. So we kept going up and then we broke this line right here. And then from there it was uh, the next candle, the next hourly candle, and then boom, we just exploded in one hour from 21,500 to 22,200. So this is where we are right now. Um, looking at a more macro perspective. Now, of course, one thing that I showed you guys is the hash ribbon buy indicator on the weekly. There was a very strong bullish signal that I told you multiple times that this is a very strong buy signal on the weekly and, uh, and uh, that signifies a significant move in the price of Bitcoin in the upcoming months ahead of us. So that was very bullish. It doesn't mean that we're going to go straight line, but it means a very bullish months ahead of us are coming. Uh, we also seen on a 12 day chart, we have seen the MACD cross right here that was in this area and that was a big signifier also about the shift of momentum that is going to start happening in the market and uh, we are right now in a very strong momentum to the upside now i want to point out a couple scenarios that we can have uh, right now okay the first scenario is that we are going to be just like uh, in the previous bull market. I'm going to take a look at a super guppy indicator here 
and I'm going to show you here that we are in the red territory right now and uh, in the previous bear market when we st when we started rising here and we went to the red zone we just plumped through the red zone like a hot kick bam and we essentially continued rising stayed in the red zone and then we went out and we started going up 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 above this red zone okay but this was the last cycle what happened in 2015 what happened in the cycle before that well we were pumping we were pumping hard into the red zone and then we got a massive rejection so this this weekly candle rejection signifying some trouble so we kind of floundered here and then bam we dropped and dropped hard to create a, a double bottom but we already have a, a, a double bottom so for us if we're going to play this scenario it's going to be a triple bottom essentially because we already had this bottom and and, and after that we created this bottom so this is like a double bottom so um, I am prone to believe more that we are uh, in a situation like in a previous uh, bear market when we just come along in this red line we stayed a bit here in this area and then we continue going to the upside uh, for me to give a situation where we have a triple bottom it is a, it is in the possibility of course it can happen like two cycles before that we come back and break uh, around 15,000 once again for Bitcoin uh, it is a possibility however we're very bullish right now uh, we didn't have this in the last bear cycle we already established our bottom and we gonna continue moving along accumulating and going up in the market so uh, the possibility that we are going to have like in the previous bull market is pretty pretty high uh, but I just want to point that, that out that to not forget what happened so here also is another weekly chart here on a 20 uh, weekly moving average and 100 moving average you can draw it down those lines and you can see over here that in 2015 uh, we had this cross and the, this bear market we had stayed below this yellow line we got rejected multiple times and then after we crossed finally this yellow line uh, we got rejected out of it and moved down from this yellow line line the 20 weekly average okay you can see that and then we got again above it and then we continued having it as support all the way all the way all the way to our top of the bull market okay so we have here a situation we had a bear market 2022 we got consistently got projected from this yellow line right here okay and what's happened is that we broke through this yellow line right now so is it going to be happening like the previous cycle in the previous cycle once we broke uh, above this yellow line we essentially went went on to our bull market well of course we broke below this in this COVID crash over here <coughs> so we had some turbulence in the market here uh, or we're going to be like in 2015 we're going to break down below and then continue above okay so time will tell but we are right now above the yellow line we are looking very bullish uh, we see the crypto greed in, uh, uh, index we are neutral right now and you can see that we have also broke this sentiment like I showed you before this was our trend line going lower and lower and lower and then boom we, we went above it on the greed and fear index from August 2022 we are above it right now at 53 56 right now so that is pretty cool um, so right now we are mega bullish momentum we have on the uh, daily the only thing that I am a little bit uh, worried about right now is that we are really really close to this resistance line this multi-year resistance line uh, trend line so we got to see how Bitcoin is going to deal with this but eventually we're going to break it but we're going to see how right now in the immediate short term Bitcoin is going to deal with this line and we are overextended on the daily. 
okay so uh which which uh, crypto are you holding right now for the next bull run you know in 2016 you missed ethereum 2017 you missed cardano in 2018 you missed bnb 2019 you missed link you have so many good projects 2021 ship there was the big big rocker here in 2023 don't miss which one which is the one that you do not want to miss in 2023 for me i don't want to miss on ulx coin uh i'm holding ulx coin is right now approaching 91 cents uh, i mean the uh, 9.9.1 uh, cents uh on a bullish uh, momentum and i believe i believe that this coin can grow this year into a one dollar coin which is about 11x from where it is right now uh, this year not the most craziest gains in crypto but it's pr it's pretty nice it's pretty nice so uh, i have recorded a training on the native decks of ultron called ultron swap and how it works and how to use the bridges how to farm for an apr of 89 percent right now and earn those extra rewards right now so you can head over in the description of this video uh, to get the training how to use ultron swap i go in depth into that it's an hour-long training and how to use the ultron swap you'll learn more about DeFi than 99.9 .9 of the people uh, out there so that's what i want to share with you today i hope you have a fantastic a day fantastic end of the week subscribe to the channel stay up to date to the crypto i hope you're having tremendous gains today and i'll see you in the next episode of today in crypto show